Welcome to the MacArthur Pavilion on Maribel College campus. Today we are beginning our foyer into histology. Now remember, histology is the process of permanently preserving tissues in order to make microscope slides. Now, we hope to achieve this by grilling these ribeyes we brought down to the pavilion. So what we're going to do is take samples of these at different times, so one when it's raw, one when it's rare, one when it's medium, and one when it's well done so that when we make our slides, we can show you the different effects of temperature on the protein and fats that are found in the steak. So let's get grilling. The process began with cooking the steaks. Meat thermometers were used on the right ribeye so that we could monitor the temperature of the steak. This way, we would know where to take our samples. Dale's steak sauce was used on the left steak so that it would be delicious for lunch. Once samples were taken, they were put on ice and taken back to the lab, and then placed in Bowen's solution for a week. Bowen's is a fixative that halts cell and tissue decay by coagulating cellular contents and preventing shrinkage. Once fixed, the samples were placed in alcohol and then embedded in a paraffin wax block. The paraffin block containing the tissue was trimmed around the edges using a razor blade. We then mounted the block onto a microtome and sectioned steak tissue at 12 micrometers per section. After sectioning, the ribbons were floated on a warm water bath and mounted on slides. The slides were then stained using hematoxyl and eosin. Once stained, we added a cover slip and then left the slides to dry overnight for analysis. First, let's look at raw. Here we are looking at a transverse or horizontal section through the muscle bundle that was the steak. At the top left, you see cross sections of the muscle fibers. Notice the white space between these fibers, which shows where intercellular fluid, mostly water, would be found. At the bottom right, you see the intact adipocytes. These are large connective tissue cells filled with fats. A close-up shows normal adipocyte structure. Next, we see a sample for rare steak. Notice a slight increase in muscle bundle fragmentation and abnormal adipocyte structure. By medium, we see this pattern continuing as more water is lost and the adipocytes begin to lyse. And finally, with well done, the water is totally lost and the adipocytes are completely lysed. While most people have looked at microscope slides, very few understand the process that goes into making slides, the process of histology. We have shown this process by doing histology on steak cooked different ways. Everyone knows that the longer you cook a steak, the tougher it gets. We have seen the cellular reason for this. On the cellular level, there are two main reasons that meat becomes tough. First, the muscle fibers dehydrate, shrinking in size, and becoming more rigid. Second, heat causes the adipocytes to lyse, which we observe through released fats dripping onto the coals. So, we hope that through this two-week process you've learned something about histology and what happens on the cellular level on the grill. And you now know this because you understand the, the science, science of food. food.